I'm Mark Gurman, and on this week's episode of Power Up, I'll be taking a look at what to expect from Apple this year and in the years to come. If you're an Apple user, there's a lot to look forward to in 2021. First, let's talk about the iPad. The company is planning to announce a new iPad Pro in the coming months that looks similar to the current models, but adds a new mini LED screen to the larger version. That will make the tablet ever so slightly thicker, but the improvements will mean a brighter screen and far better contrast ratios. You can also expect a new processor that's on par with the M1 chip in the latest Macs, 5G, and of course, better cameras. You can also look forward to a thinner entry-level iPad later in 2021. On to the Mac. The company is planning major new versions of the MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, iMac, and Mac Pro, all with in-house Apple Silicon chips. You can expect the new MacBook Pros to launch around the middle of the year. They'll have minor design changes, but also remove the controversial touch bar, bring back the magnetic MagSafe charger, and to the joy of YouTubers and photographers alike, also mark the return of the SD card slot. The MacBook Air will see a significant redesign, going much thinner as early as the end of this year. That laptop will also bring back the MagSafe charger. The iMacs will see their first full redesigns in nearly a decade toward the end of this year, gaining a design similar to the $5,000 Pro Display XDR. There's also a new Mac Pro in the works that's about half the size of the current model, leveraging Apple's more power efficient chips. You can also though expect an updated Intel Mac Pro for users who need true Intel compatibility. Of course, everyone wants to know about the new iPhones. Expect a lineup in the fall that looks similar to the iPhone 12, with the possibility of an in-screen fingerprint sensor as the major new feature in addition to better cameras and faster chips. One should expect new Apple Watches to launch around that time too. Further out in the pipeline, likely in 2022, is a mixed reality VR and AR headset that's pricey and focuses on gaming and communications. Much further out will be a pair of AR glasses that can overlay information like texts, maps, and notifications to the wearer's field of view. And then there's the car. Apple has a team working on car interiors, exteriors, batteries, and other technology. But don't expect the Tesla rival for at least another five years. I'm Mark Gurman. This is Power Up.